Hey everyone, I'm two-time NBA champion Chris Bosch, and this is everything I ate during the season and everything I ate during the offseason. Let's go. During the season, a typical day for me food-wise, in the mornings, I would always try to have oatmeal. Now, there's two reasons that I would have oatmeal. One is because you can have it at home, and then two, usually in a hotel, they have oatmeal as well. I would dress it up with some brown sugar, I put some honey in it, some days I put some pecans or some mixed nuts or some mixed fruit or something like that. That was always a good way to kind of get me going. Sometimes I would have a bagel with cream cheese, maybe even some lox on there every now and then. But those were the things that I needed because I knew I would be running miles and miles and miles if it was a game day or sometimes even during practice. During the lunch phase, I try to have something light like a fish or a salad. They ate a lot of sea bass, a lot of salmon, some nice hearty fish and with some rich omega-3s. You need that to help the brain power. And usually I'd like to have a nice salad on the side to keep those veggies going and really, really get my nutrition in for the day. And usually at dinner, I'd have have something a little bit bigger in proportion, a nice steak, some potatoes, vegetables again, maybe a salad again. One of my favorites was always, always a nice steak. I mean, there's nothing better than a nice steak in the evening to kind of help you wind down. <laughs> So during the off season, this is when me and my wife, we would love to get adventurous. So in the off season, you could find us on a beach or traveling somewhere or walking some mountains with the kids or going on some field trips. So that's when we try to get the really, really cool worldly stuff in. You might find us in Provence, France, you know, having a nice, you know, rotisserie chicken. You might find us on the coast of Italy having some nice fish or a very, very nice pasta. But we'll always try to be more adventurous and a little bit lenient on the guilty pleasures in the off season. <laughs> I would have to say my favorite indulgences. The first, in no particular order, is craft beer. I love beer and have always been a fan of local craft breweries, so support your local brewery. Another indulgence is whatever my kids bake. They've gotten into the routine of baking multiple dishes a week, and my daughter made a carrot cake the other week that was just <laughs> amazing. Anytime they make something, I might not let them know but I definitely take a piece off and have something for myself. My favorite win, of course, was game six in the 2013 NBA Finals. And a foul call against San Antonio. Blocked by Bosch. Game over. There'll be a game seven. We won by the hair of our chinny chin chin. But afterwards, we went to Prime 112 to put all those calories back. <laughs> and it was a very dramatic win and that was definitely the most important game. And we had the most important meal right after. Then we had to do it again. I never had any food-based superstitions during the season. My superstition was always to not be superstitious. That was my superstition. One of the things I never wanted to do was eat something on game day that I know I would regret later. So I would try to keep it as light as possible. Not a superstition, but more so being smart about it. So heavy sauces, heavy chili or something like that before the game, no good. You wanna make sure you're eating the right way and having something that you know will fuel you for later in the day. So what did I eat before the championship game six and seven? I can't really remember all the way, but I can tell you, I worked myself up to such a habit of having simply grilled proteins, simply grilled vegetables sometimes, or easy to eat vegetables, something easy to digest and break down into that fuel that you need. A lot of carbs because we were going to be expending a lot of energy. And you know, I was just so focused in my routine, I can't even tell you exactly what I ate, but I can tell you that it worked. So anything that would give me energy and help me function later, that was always the goal. What foods do I think help me perform best? I always try to eat a little cleaner if I'm performing. So if I'm eating some sugar, I wanna make sure it's natural sugar. So I try my best to maybe have some local honey in my tea or on top of my oatmeal or my granola mix in the morning. I'll always try to have something high in omega-3s, like I said before, helping that brain function and give that tissue and those joints the lubrication that it needs to move 
and I would always try to not do too much. Sometimes performing on a full stomach can be the wrong thing to do, and you don't want to have a wrong situation. So I always try to eat a little cleaner, have a little more veggies, be a little more aware of what I'm taking into my body. A nice dose of complex carbs like quinoa or brown rice, something that can sustain you for later and your body can really break down into energy later. The foods that slow you down, oh, that's easy. Big steaks, big heavy red meats, red sauces, or sometimes just eating too much. That can definitely slow you down. So if you think of it in terms of whatever I'm putting into my stomach, is it heavy or is it light right now? That would kind of be my, my measure. And if it was too heavy sometimes, that was the thing that I knew would hold me down a little bit. Which city had the better food, Miami or Toronto? Hey guys, come on. You guys asked me to choose, uh, it's, it's a tie. It's a tie, we all tie here. Let me tell you something, Toronto, they've got the Caribbean influence and the Indian influence and so many European influence and Asian influences there. Miami, you've got that Latin flavor, a lot of roast con pollo, and you actually have a lot of Mediterranean dishes that you can get into down there. They all have their different flavors, and on top of that, they have phenomenal restaurants. So I have to say I cannot choose. All I can say is you won't be disappointed if you have a meal in either city. You know what, honestly, my weird and unique food habit is trying weird and unique foods. And that started back when I was 19, a rookie in Toronto. I had a buddy of mine who got mad at me because I said I didn't like something before I tried it. And that was razor clams and black bean sauce. He pretty much guilt tripped me into eating it and I ate it and it was really good. So then every day after that moment, I told myself that I would try something at least once. And one of those weird and unique foods that I had the pleasure of trying was crocodile carpaccio. Now I don't know where you can find it, but I've had that before, it was very good. The teammate with the strangest eating habits, I'm gonna have to go with my good friend, Dwayne Wade. And it was strange in the sense that he didn't try anything. He would just have chicken every day. And I'd like to think that I was one of the first persons to get him to try vegetables and salad. He didn't have any salad, elite athlete <laughs> with these things. And I give it to him. They found a way to make chicken different every day. Now he's uh, he's eating a lot more as his palate is is a lot more broad and, and, I, and I like to think that I had something to do with it. So congrats D-Wade, I'm glad you had your first salad and your first bite of vegetables. Everybody, it's not too late to try things. Well, one of the things that I found that helped me with my performance when I was playing was a little bit of juicing. On game days, I'd like to have some beet juice. It's a nice beet juice. I felt that it really got me going and I came to enjoy beets. I used to hate beets as a kid. And then I found myself drinking beets and we found a certain particular recipe that was energizing for the body. So I would always drink that one before a game. And then usually on off days, we're trying to recover. That's when I would drink my green juices. The ones you don't wanna drink that aren't necessarily sweet. Put those vitamins and antioxidants back into the body and help aid the recovery process so I could be ready for the next game. One thing I wish I could have eaten all the time was burgers and fries. I mean, you can eat burgers so many different ways. They have them in every city. You can get clean burgers, you can get messy burgers, you can get big burgers, you can get small burgers, you can get all kinds. But that necessarily wasn't always the best thing to eat during the season. Three things you will always find in my fridge. Eggs, for sure. You can eat them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And that's usually one of the first things you learn how to cook. Lunch meat so that we can make sandwiches. You know, you can be very flexible with lunch meat. And we're always gonna have those cut up veggies, some kind of vegetable or fruit in the fridge. We wanna make sure we have something healthy to grab at all times. The most I've spent on takeout and delivery, I usually don't look at the bills, but I can definitely tell you, well, a few hundred bucks, okay? I can't tell you how many few hundred, but definitely a few hundred. I try not to look at it. <laughs> My diet has changed just a tad since I've stopped playing. I'm more so looking at things that will aid me in long-term health. Like I said before, it's very important to get omega-3s but fiber, protein, things that the body really needs to be able to function and give it that longevity. And, you know, I'm trying to encourage my kids to make healthy choices as well. So a lot of fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and I've come to kind of really, really appreciate cutting down the carbs just a tad. 
I'm not running around as much. I'm not doing as much, but anything that can help me prolong my health, that's what's most important to me now. So I try to bring that to every day in my food choices. Thank you so much for joining me today. Delish, thank you so much for having me. I do wanna say, go and check out my book, Letters to a Young Athlete, available June 1st. We're so excited about it. We're so happy for it. If you're trying to accomplish a goal, this book is for you. You can do it, make those healthy choices every day, and I'm telling you, you'll be on your way to accomplishing your goals. Yeah, yeah.